here with Kendall Stewart, third in the 100 Fly Tonight in uh, in Mesa. So I want to ask, what's it like being a pro? <sighs> um, it's awesome. It's totally different. It's given me the opportunity to switch up my training a little bit. Um, I went to a national team camp in Chula Vista with Swimac and some of the other um, USA national team guys, which was awesome. Nice to be close to home. Um, nice to just be able to switch it up a little bit. It's been it's been good to be training kind of with a different group while the college team is doing their big meets, but um, I'm enjoying it. It's fun to have it kind of change your perspective. Do it do it for me. And yeah. I love something for USC, but it's nice to switch it up a little bit. What's it like being in a meet like this as, you know, not coming off college season? Um, it's different, yeah. Um, I, I actually was pretty sick in the beginning of the year. I had mono and then I had bronchitis, so yeah. Not fun. <laughs> um, so it's kind of been weird. I haven't had like super steady training at the beginning of the year. Um, but it's different definitely than a lot of people have. Base is kind of at a weird time. Usually people are coming right off NCs and it's either really good or really bad because they're still riding the high or you're like, you know, you've been tapered for a while. Um, so. That's not really my case, but mm -hmm. it's fun. It's fun. I swam well in Indy Grand Prix. I swam okay today, but um, it's good to be able to hit more Grand Prix stops along the way and not have the college season kind of and both. Being a pro and not, you know, let, it's not as guaranteed as it was in, in college, right? So is there more pressure to meet even like this? Um, I mean a little bit, but the big thing for me, I have to be enjoying swimming and not putting pressure on myself to swim fast, and I, I try not to be super intense about it, so... Swimming is fun for me, it's something that I've always enjoyed and I don't, it becomes, I won't swim fast unless it's kind of relaxed and I'm having fun, so I try not to really like feel too much pressure yet. So how do you keep yourself relaxed? Um, just focus on spending time with my friends, remembering that this is something that I love and just kind of being goofy. I'm behind the blocks, usually smiling and you know, it's good to see my friends that I made at camp and be here with mm -hmm. um, some of the college girls that I haven't raced with in a while, so it's just yeah. fun. Um, so coming off Olympic trials, swam well, but but not in that top two. So how how did you overcome that? Mentally? Um, everyone that I talked to was like, oh my god, third at trials, like worst thing that could possibly happen to you, you know. But um, I was proud of myself. It was way better than I swam in 2012, better than I swam in 2008. Um, I was proud of the way that I kind of handled the pressure. And even though I didn't make the team, I had a fun time, which I didn't have fun at trials in 2012. It was just this horrible pressurized like crazy me that I just couldn't wait to get home from. And I had a blast at, in, um, I guess, last summer. And being third at US Trials was pretty great. And I didn't go best time. That was my only kind of bummed mm -hmm. thing that I was bummed out about. I wish I went best time, but I, it was fun. I swam well. Like it was, you know, biggest meet that they ever put on, and I didn't yeah. complain really. I was like, it sucks, but what can you do? <laughs> How did you know after that that you weren't done? Um, most people that I talked to were like, oh, can't wait to be done, or like, you know, some people finish their collegiate career and they're like, I feel so good, I can't believe. Sure. Yeah, and I recently, I think I broke out in 2014. I had some yep. good swims and I haven't really touched them since and I'm still enjoying every day in the pool and I'm still swimming well and I just kind of was like, doesn't, I don't feel like it's time yet. Everyone that I talked to has been like, you know when you're done, like it's not going to be fun anymore and mm -hmm. maybe it's going to be fun for me forever but I still feel like I have good swims and yeah. opportunities to make teams and yeah. How much is it more 100 fly focused because that is your best event um, and possibly an opening on Team USA right now so how much is it more 100 fly than it was say in college when you had to be, be, be versatile yeah to find um, I was talking about that this morning actually it used to be kind of like backstroke I swam 200 back 100 fly yep, 100 yep. back 100 free relays and like I would like to swim more backstroke um, kind of now that the Olympic year is done and the 100 fly is not the only thing I'd like to have some more events um, but I swim a lot of freestyle in practice and I've been trying to add it to backstroke, but it's definitely... I'm not like I was when I was 14, I swim like six events every day, mm -hmm. like four to nine, five or three, like 200 fly, 200 bag, like no. Same um, <laughs> yeah, it's nice to be able to have like something that I know I swim well all the time and kind of focus on and train for and then have some like other fun events too. You done with school? Yeah, I finished in December. Do you miss it? No. <laughs> Yeah, happy to be done. It's nice. Kendall, a nice job tonight. Thank you. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. Thank you.